What is up, you guys? That is your boy, John, here from Poop and Plow. Welcome to Farming Simulator 19. For the first time in my single player, whatever you want to call it, we're jumping in. I think we're going to go on manager mode, farm manager. I don't want to go... I want to, like, build the buildings myself. I think that's what we're going to do. Plus, there's some new stuff. Welcome in, guys. This is my first of my Let's Plays here on the PC. And we're going to Fels, Felsburn, Felsbin, Fels. We're going there. Okay, that's what we're doing. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a thing. All right, so we're jumping in, guys. I know I'm extremely late to the game as far as uh, recording a single player. Oh, and that's the only thing I have. I don't have any mods. That's the only DLC I have, obviously, because uh, pre-order bonus. But uh, let's start this up. Load times aren't too horrendous, right? I hope not. Uh, but I know I'm a little late to the game. I have been concentrating on streaming this game. I have almost 200 hours, and all of them have been in the multiplayer server uh, that we're running over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash boomaplow. So there's that. <laughs> That's where I've been running all of my hours in Farm Sim 19 as of, like, till today uh, when I'm firing up for this video right here. So we are in... I have very, very little experience with this map, I can tell you that right now. Um, in fact, I've been on this map for about two seconds on the Xbox, or about 20 minutes or so. Uh, we tried playing multiplayer on Xbox one night on stream, and it just did not, it didn't work. So we have literally nothing, guys. Literally, literally nothing. I was like, what is that? I don't know what that is. That's our stats page. Okay. Uh, we do have some missions we could do. Uh, we do have some missions we can do. Uh, we will be doing missions. We probably won't be doing potato missions, but there are some missions we will be doing eventually. Um, we don't have any crop in storage, of course. We don't have anything. Ah, we don't have anything. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That is a okay. We can not. No, no, no. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so I guess first things first, let's uh, make ourselves go broke. And hopefully the game volume is not too bad. It doesn't look like it would be too loud. Uh, let's just see. So we've been having some issues in multiplayer. Yeah, so for some reason in multiplayer, we have, you know, two farms going. We have kind of the John farm and we have kind of the, the open farm. And for some reason, it has let them take over like millions of dollars in loans. Like 2.5 million. So we need to get started, guys. We need to buy some land here. Uh, I think I want to buy some land right away. And this is kind of where your homestead's supposed to be. So, I mean, do we do we buy that first? I mean, that's pretty cheap. I feel like that's the play everybody's going to be doing, right? Or buy across the road. I mean, wouldn't be a bad... Let's go look at it first. Let's see. Because... Uh, yeah, so today is actually the day that the update has come out. So if you look in here, I have the terraforming uh, tools, landscaping tool, whatever you want to call it. So, like, you know, if we want to flatten this out eventually back here, looks like we could do that. So this could be our first field, although it's planted in, um, you know, sugar beet. So I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is, right? It is what it is. So we can get into some logging back here, you know, moving, moving some stuff around. Uh, we could, we wouldn't be able to get rid of that, obviously, you know, if we wanted to make this field bigger, let's say, but we can maybe do a little bit of landscaping back here eventually. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe be able to do some. Um, so the, like I said, I'm, I've only had a few minutes of experience here. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you know what? We're not going to buy that one. Let's go for the bigger field right away. Uh, let's go for field 19. It's $174,000. We have $1.5 So let's go with that. That's not bad. Now, uh, I do want to come over here. And, of course, we need to... Um, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we want to turn all this stuff off. For now, anyway, we want to turn all of that off. Um, we'll see. We'll see later if we turn it back on or not. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for... I'm looking for... 
withering off and growth too fast. Those are important ones for me, honestly. And then something about the... I don't know where that's actually at, though. There's an economy. Oh, do we want to do weeds? I mean, weeds, I think, need to be on. Um, lime, we're going to put on for now. Crop destruction, of course. Um, we'll leave it on for now. We'll leave we'll leave all that stuff on for now. We may turn lime off later. Uh, we may turn it off later. Okay. Um, I don't know where you changed that uh, that mode. But it's in here somewhere. I know that much. All right. So we own field 19, which is planted in... What is that? Is that going to be potatoes? It is. All right. So the first thing we're going to need to do, we need to get ourselves a tractor or two, maybe. Um, I don't know if we really want to mess with the small stuff. I mean, we have a little bit of money is the thing. You see, we have some money, but we got to buy a lot of things. So uh, do we want to go like tiny or could we... You know, step it up a little bit. I kind of want to go with the old um, the old case here. It's 170 horsepower. And by the way, just because you can. Oh my god, I didn't know you could put them on the front. Ugh, I don't like them on the front. No, uh-uh. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I like that. <laughs> uh, on our on our server, the other guys on the, on the open farm have been running this tractor. And I've just kind of like, ugh. There's just something about it I kind of like. Or should we go Should we go green? Our first tractor, should it be the 6M? I mean, the 6M's a good tractor. We use it for quite a bit on the uh, on the server. We do have one. I kind of feel like I'd, I need to go green. I mean, I kind of feel like I do need to go green. I'm not even going to lie. What is that? Oh, you can put the front. Okay, duh. Okay. Uh, we'd go, we're going to wait... And then, um, probably going to have to put skinny tires on it because we're going to basically be a one tractor show for a while here. Uh, 164 horsepower. So, I mean, it's not, not a bad looking, not a bad tractor. So let's go ahead and buy that. It's $133,000, but it's going to be our one tractor for a little while. Um, we also will need to get some kind of combine. I feel like we need to get that right off the jump. And I think we're going to go for an extra, I was going to get the new Holland, but for an extra $5,000, I think I'll go with the, um, the Rostle mash here. I think that's what I'll go with. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's buy that. <laughs> spending all of our money. Episode, episode one, spending our money. Um, so we need, uh, we're going to concentrate on like grain crops for now, of course, and let's see, that is a five meter head. Uh, we'll probably just stay with the five meter head, the appropriate head for the combine. I don't like to, uh, I don't like to mix and match stuff, you know, and put like the wrong head on the on that combine kind of kind of stuff like that. Um, we need some way to seed. We definitely need some way to seed, and and remember, we don't have a lot of horsepower. What do we have for horsepower? In fact, we have 164, so we have to watch that. We definitely have to watch that. Um, 164, 164, that takes, well, that's that thing. Um, what's this one take? 180? Yeah, that's not going to work. Ugh, I didn't really want to go with something really small, I'm not going to lie. That's 4 meters. You know, could we swing it? Would it work? We buy a second tractor already. I was hoping not to use a three meter seeder. I'm not going to lie. What is this? This one's four. So you got to have the front and the back, and that tractor doesn't have a th front three point. So I guess we're going to go, golly, the star, 3.6 meter. Why not? Why not? Uh, we're probably going to need something to cultivate with as well. And actually, okay, so we're in the disc era. So you have cultivators, you have plows, you have subsoilers. There's mechan. I mean, there's like all of the things. Okay, lots of ways to work dirt. Uh, to me, the disc arrows make more sense because they require. Well, outside of the TT one here, um, they require minimal, minimal horsepower actually. So we could get by with. That's one forty. We can probably get by with that one. On the horsepower rating, yeah, all the way up to 400. Okay, yeah. 
just spend all our money, guys. That's kind of the goal, right? I mean, if we can afford it, I'll buy a second plot of land real quick, too. But that's another story. Okay, so we can harvest. We can cultivate. We need some kind of tipper. Uh, definitely going to need a little tipper to run. And I think we'll go with the um, agri liner here because that's a good tipper, you know? It is a good tipper. Oh, the little, little tires are kind of weird. Kind of weird, not going to lie. Um, we'll leave it that way, I guess. We don't want to... We don't want to pick our... Um, what's your doodle? We don't want to change the color of it or anything. It's fine just the way it is. Go ahead and buy that as well. Okay, so we can plant. We can cultivate. We can tip. We can harvest. Um, we'll get some seed and stuff later. Don't worry about that right now. Placeables will... I mean, we're, we're definitely going to buy a sandcastle. Like, right out. No, we're not. Actually, gonna buy his name, Castle. Um, okay. Oh, hey, there's a train. We can tap to the train. Uh, I believe that's a f option I can turn on and off. If I want to uh, tap to the train or not. I've not actually seen this train. Why would it have a steering wheel? It's a train. Do you... Is it... Do you really need a steering wheel and a train? I mean... You're kind of... On the track, right? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, so there's our John Deere. Our John Deere 6M. Oh, man, there's so many more things that we need, by the way. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, we need some kind of fertilizer. We definitely need a fertilizer. And let's go with the smaller of the two big ones. Because really, for the capacity bump, it's not a big deal. Um, fertilizer slash... Um, for lime as well and since we can kind of afford it right now we're gonna go ahead and make it make it big mode by putting the uh, the back wings on here so you can spread a lot wider doesn't really work with lime but with fertilizer it works quite well um, we're also going to need a way to get rid of weeds so you know I kind of want to go with the big boy already but we won't um, you know what we're gonna go with the coon no, we're not going to go to Coon because we don't have the front tank. We don't have front three points, so we'll go to Hardy. Go ahead and get that. Um, so that's lime. That's fertilizer. Um, what does our field actually need right now? It needs to be plowed. It needs to be plowed. That's going to... Well, you know what? It's not going to suck because we can get ourselves. Uh, we're not interested right now anyway. I'm not quite interested in making our fields bigger um, right this moment. So what we can actually do is go with a subsoiler um, instead of a regular old plow. Why does this one require less horsepower? I'm confused. It's, I mean, it's a little more money, but it requires less horsepower. It's the same width. They're both four meters. Uh, whatever. Um, that has a... You can put something on there. Okay, let's just go with the go with the other one. Why not? Well, this one has the same hitch. Not sure why. I think you could, like... Yeah, that's what it is. You could put it on the front or the back of your tractor, I believe. If you wanted to, like, you know, plant at the same time. Which would be kind of cool, but our tractor doesn't have that option, of course. So I feel like my game is really loud. Two seconds, y'all. Two seconds, y'all. Let me, uh... That helps. <laughs> Just a little bump on the old uh, lever over there. Alright, so I guess the first thing's first. We need to go do a little plowing. I believe our field's this way. Pretty sure. Like I said, I drove around on this map for like five minutes once. So I'm basically an expert, right? Isn't that how it goes? Something like that. Uh, so subsoilers will count as, quote, plowing a field. They just will not count as uh, creating new fields. You can't create a new field, but you can subsoil a field to uh, to plow it. There we go. Audio is much better now. Zoomed out all the way. Much quieter. Just saying. <laughs> it was really loud before. Ooh, and actually, I was just looking on the map. I'm like, 27 wouldn't be a bad field, but that's like pure hill. So... Probably try to stay to kind of flat ground right now just because, 
you know, why not? Just saying, why not? Alright, so we're going to subsoil because we don't want potatoes. So actually, can we hire the guy? I've not, honestly, not hired a worker. That's my first time that I've hired a worker uh, in Farm Sim 19 because I've been playing in multiplayer and we don't hire workers no matter what we're doing. So there's that. So he's going to be out here for the next three and a half years. Honestly, I'm looking already at another, like, plot of land, another tractor. <laughs> Wouldn't be bad. Because uh, we do have... How much money do we have? We still have $800,000, $900,000. I know, I know it's all loan, but, you know, for a little bit more more money here, like, we could, we could buy some land right away. You know what I'm saying? Like, we could actually buy some land i think i'm gonna go with 18 next like already jump into it why not um does that need to be that one's gonna need to be plowed as well what's actually planted there though that is corn okay i'm not gonna buy a corn head i'm not gonna buy not gonna lease a corn head so what i'm looking at guys honestly is jumping into another tractor right away how much do we have horsepower wise 164 on the john deere 164 on the John Deere. I feel like you can get the, yeah, this tractor starts with more already and you can go to 261. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and make a play on our case tractor here that we were talking about before. Man, I, just, I don't know why. I kind of like just, I like all the customizations in, in 19. I'm not going to lie. Um, and you know what? With this tractor, because that tractor we'll use as the sprayer. So with this tractor, this can be like, um, whatever else we want to use it for so i kind of like the big beefy duels honestly let's go duels all around let's make people vomit One hundred fifty-one thousand five hundred dollars, kind of pricey but it's gonna be worth it um and then as far as a, we should probably get another subsoiler and get it going honestly um we can't yeah we can't pull those we can we can pull these so <laughs> might as well get another one if every field we buy is going to have to get plowed, um, it's, oh my god, it's wider than the subsoiler. <laughs> oh god. I say it's like right on. Like, e e okay, it's a little wider. But if every field we buy is going to have to get plowed, then we might as well, you know. And actually, looking at my money again. Let me go. No, nope, not in there. This screen. Um, this tractor has 261 horsepower. I should have done this to start with. But what kind of cedar can we pull with 260 horsepower? We can pull the 6 meter Vodder side. That's a pretty solid cedar. We could probably get by with pulling the horse around. I'm not going to lie. Or actually, you know what? We can pull the Lemkin. Oh, uh, why don't I make a play on the Lemkin? Because I can pull it with the tractor. I have to cultivate before because the Lemkin doesn't cultivate. The Lemkin also doesn't fertilize. But we have the fertilizer spreader and the sprayer. So we're going to make a play on the Lemkin here. I probably should have done this to start with and not wasted the money on that cedar. But that's okay because we're just going to go turn it. Turn it and burn it and get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? So as you guys can see, I'm an equal opportunity uh, tractor buyer here. We have a red one, we have a green one. I, I don't mind different brands. I actually like uh, I like having different stuff. So, but that's gonna speed up our seeding process like dramatically. Okay, that really is gonna speed up our seeding process. Oh, I, don't, I don't need the seeder right now. Sell this other seeder. Let's go ahead and sell that. I mean we. $35,000. I'm not sure what we paid for it. We, we probably lost some money. Um, actually, it wasn't bad. 39 and we got 35 back. So, that's not uh, that's not terrible, honestly. But, let's get our other subsoiler going. And then, guys, I'm uh, looking for a little bit of feedback. Do you guys want you know, you guys want the 20 minute videos? You guys want the 30 minute videos? I probably wouldn't go longer than around 30 minutes. Uh, just oh, stop sign down. My bad. Uh, just because 
you know, I, I can make more videos in a day if I keep them 20 to 30 minutes, not, uh, you know, 45, 50 minutes. That's a little long for me uh, for making these videos. But let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I'm curious what you guys think about Farm Sim 19. Uh, my opinion so far on Farm Sim 19, and keep in mind, I've been this is my first video for YouTube. But if you've been watching my YouTube channel, obviously you guys know I have been playing a ton of multiplayer. All of it has been posted, or everything I've streamed, I should say, which is not quite all of what I've played. But you know, oh, crop destruction is the thing. That's right. Uh, so everything that I have uh, streamed has has been put onto YouTube, and. Uh, you know, feel free to check those videos out as well. But uh, let me know what you guys are thinking about uh, about that and about Farm Sim 19 in general. I'm loving the game so far, and like I said, I have uh, about 200 hours, almost 200 hours in uh, multiplayer. Wow, we are just annihilating this crop with all those tires. But uh, that's okay. It's actually my first time looking in the uh, cab of this tractor. I like this tractor. I'm not gonna lie. Thing about uh, in cabs, by the way. Here, I'm gonna quit moving the mouse. You kind of bounce and move with terrain and stuff now. The way your head moves and bobs and carries on. I like it quite a bit. I didn't realize this field was such a hill. That should be okay because we have the horsepower now. You see, we have some horsepower. So we'll use two tractors for sure. Um, honestly, the next purchase might be another combine as well. Really get rocking here early uh, on, the, on the map here. I'm going to have to figure out how to change the quote economy because I believe if I look at my prices, yeah, my prices aren't terrible. They're not terrible. They're not great, but they're not terrible. So I got to figure out how to change my economy where that setting is, but, um, we'll figure that out. And I'm probably going to put the economy on like easy mode because I don't really want to grind too much. You know, I don't really want to grind too much on uh, on on this game here. You know, it's it's always to me it's better to uh, to me it's better to um, kind of make progress as we go, so I don't have to grind out as much. I mean, I don't mind the grind, but uh, uh, multiplayer grinds a lot better than single player grind, if you ask me. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. So the little John Deere 6M, it's going to be our spraying tractor and. And different stuff like that you know we need skinny wheel tractor but we also benefit from having a uh, bigger tractor as well so I was gonna be a one tractor show but you know what hey I have money in my pocket and well everybody knows money in my pocket just burns a hole in my pocket so yeah we uh, will get more green equipment as we go on this map guys I plan on buying uh, probably a fair bit of green equipment because I do like the John Deere equipment so far that I've used in 19, which is almost all of it. I've not used the S, what is it, the, the combine, the big combine. Is that a 780? What is it? I don't actually know. Uh, 790. I've not used the 790 yet. And in tractors, I've not used, the only one I have not actually run is the 8RT with the tracks. I have not run this yet. We will eventually be getting one of these on our multiplayer uh, stream map we will eventually in the server but for now this is like the only John Deere tractor that I haven't actually run uh, we don't own a 7R there's the 8R where's the 7 uh, the 7R as well we don't actually own one of these on the server um, on my farm but we have used one in a mission I believe I think that's what it is we've used one in a mission so definitely have I definitely have used used it so just uh, we don't own it but uh, yeah good tractor good little tractor as well I mean not a little it's 352 horsepower that's a that's a good size tractor you know what I'm saying so we'll probably get uh, a collection of JD equipment going here on the map I may have to turn traffic off I'm just noticing that um, but yeah so far guys I'm liking this map I think this map is pretty cool uh, just looking around, I mean, I've barely looked around the map, of course, but pretty neat. I mean, that field, like, up on the hill and, and stuff, like, it's pretty cool. So, yeah. But let me know what you guys think about uh, Farm Sim so far. What do you what do you guys think about uh, the length of videos? 20 minutes 
30 minutes, probably no longer than that. Just saying, <laughs> just saying. Um, the other thing we should probably do, and we don't own this field yet, so never mind. Uh, I kind of want to buy this field and put a green bin because we don't have any storage right now. I mean, we can just sell out of the field, I guess, right? As we harvest, we can just sell. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do for now. Eventually, though, guys, we will be buying. Uh, I kind of like these fields up here, all secluded up here. That, that's quite a road to get to get up there or this road here. <laughs> That's quite a road as well. That's pretty neat, actually. Um, we will be getting grain bins and buildings, and I don't think I'll get a house necessarily, but maybe. You never know, guys. You never know. So let me know if you guys like this video. I'm going to go ahead and call this one here and let these subsoilers run. Um, let these subsoilers run probably for a little while, and um, maybe we'll come back and do a mission. How about that? So, until then, I'm your boy John from Poomplaw. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for more. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. I would greatly appreciate that as well. And, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And, as always, toodles.